hello and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you are welcome i am an aim coach and i'm an author and i also do business now basically today's video is for that part of my channel where we talk about real life issues okay real life issues and this is a response to parents who often ask me how do you keep your children occupied when they are at home okay when they are at home now we know that we're in the us in the uk in fact the whole of england are on lockdown okay and it's only on the 12th of march that you know the prime minister has announced this week that the, from the 12th is going to be opening up um a lot more services for families and stuff like that so it has meant that we had to apart from they've only recently gone back to school like they went back 8th of march but they've been at home or from the beginning of the year they've been at home and um, because of lockdown and they have no access to um, extracurriculum activities that normally happen in the libraries and all of that play things like um run time for those who are younger stay and play craft activities for those who are older they've had none of that only places where there's like parks um i'm sure were open or open fields where they can go and walk take walks and all of that but most places have been closed most shops have been closed restaurants have been closed so that has meant that they've been spending a lot of time at home it has meant that parents have had to educate their children themselves homeschooling is now a thing and then also on top of that entertain them keep them occupied okay now i'm going to be talking to you having a chit chat with you whilst actually making um making snow for a home based activity for my son and um so i'm going to be using olive oil uh, and so that has meant that we've had to entertain them and that includes me <laughs> entertaining my children keeping them occupied making sure they're learning a, a bit and all of that you know so all i need is one cup of olive oil so i just got the regular cheap olive oil okay since i'm not using it for cooking i'm using it for activity so that is one cup and um so how do i do it how do i actually keep my children occupied um and entertained at home i do various things that luckily um a nursery nurse by profession so I know quite a lot a lot of activities age appropriate activities I know um, what kind of toys to buy age appropriate toys for my children and all of that kind of stuff for them and also I've I've studied my children so I know their interests their individual interests so I buy things according to their individual interests and also um, and also challenge them in other in other ways like to try different things okay so um so that they're not bored and um, so it's not all my idea they are free to explore within reason safe uh, in a safe space of course and um, this is corn flour so i'm going to put um I'm going to start off with a cup of corn flour and see how it goes. Okay. And so what do I do? I put, so those are the ways that I keep them occupied. So I buy them books. So they have books to read. Okay. And books that I read to them. Then they also have books that can be turned into 
um, that can have activities incorporated into them after the story, okay? And then they have books that they can color in, okay, which promotes their education as well. Um, they have books that they can do activities on, okay? And then I have an actual book, like a 400 page book with different activities for the different age group because I have a three year old and I have an eight year old. So um, I have activities to suit both of them as they get older even. And, um, and then I have a box full of toys for both of them that they're both interested in. Luckily enough, they both like similar things. They both like cars, so they have quite a lot of cars. I bought them quite a lot of cars that they they like. Um, and then, um, and then of course, my daughter likes dolls. Um, my son likes constructions, so I bought him like um, you know, I bought them things that they can share. So I bought them like building blocks. Legos, he got Lego for his birthday. Um, he got they're both musical, so he got a piano, he got a keyboard, a key, keyboard and piano in one. Um, what's it called? In um, for his birthday, and then recently he's gotten a liking for wild animals so he got things like um birds got bears so look this is how it's looking but i'm gonna thicken it a bit more because it's supposed to have a crumbly texture okay i'm just gonna add Normally you can just keep it like corn flour, but I've run out of corn flour, so I'm going to improvise to get the crumbly texture. So yeah, so that's how then I take them to the park. I take them places to eat. Um, I take them to library when it was opened. Um, I take them to game areas. We have some game areas um, that they have play sessions. So that is how I keep them occupied. So if you have questions, put it in the comment section um, to do with children's activities. I've got another channel called Rising Stars, so you can check that out, um, where I basically upload um, child-friendly activities that you can do at home with your children and also educational resources that you can use to expand your children's learning at home. So that is it guys, I shall see you in the next video, bye.